They switched it up on me, man. Oh, eat this. Do I have everything? Oh. Come on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vincent Vision. Look, I don't have much time to explain. Okay, so maybe I do have time to explain. They switched it up on me, man. Yesterday, California Adventure opened at 9 a.m. Now, it's open at 8 a.m. today. And they're doing the extra magic hours, so it opened at 7 for people. You know what that means? That means the only reason I came here, the real reason I came here, the true reason I came to California, to Disneyland, is gonna have a long line. I woke up in a jolt and I'm so tired I have to pimp walk over to California Adventure because my feet are tired after walking from Disneyland for 14 hours yesterday. I'm not gonna be the first one like I wanted to be. There it is. I'm sorry I'm late, baby. I'm almost there. I'll be right there. Welcome. Shorter lines are to your far left or right. Good morning and welcome. Okay, right here. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Or again, Disney's California Adventure, sorry. We're almost there. Wow, what a pretty little park. Uh, we'll get to that later. Because I'm sure right around this corner is the one, the only, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Ladies and gentlemen, let the Guardians of the Galaxy mission break out and a little bit of California Adventure episode of Vincent Vision begin! Woo! Guardians of the Galaxy now, it's about a 45 minute wait. Basically, my goal today here at California Adventure is to ride this ride as many, many times as possible. When I go back to Orlando, I don't wanna say I didn't ride this enough. And with Max Pass, it's gonna make it happen. And it's gonna work out great because I'm in line for the ride now. My Fast Pass starts at 9.20, so as soon as I'm done with the ride, I'm just gonna hop right back on. I'm gonna use Max Pass to get another Fast Pass for this ride and ooh, a, lot of, a lot of Guardians today. I've been waiting for. This is the moment I've been waiting for. The rocket unplugs you and starts things rocking! <coughs> I'm so happy. That ride was so much fun. Oh my god. Let's go on it again. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. See you in just a second. So I've got a few more moments before my next Fast Pass for Guardians of the Galaxy kicks in. So let's go check out some of California Adventure. Oh, okay. 
So apparently here at California Adventure, they do a food and wine festival. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, really, pretty cool. Let's go ride Guardians again. Wow. After going on Guardians of the Galaxy three times in a row, I gotta say, it's a pretty, pretty good ride. A little short, but super exciting all the way through. I know a lot of people were upset when they first announced this, that they were gonna replace the Tower of Terror here in California. Um, let's be honest, guys. This wasn't even the good Tower of Terror. That's the one in Orlando. Out of the three Towers of Terrors, this was number three. So I think that this ride is a very good replacement. Super, super exciting. Honestly, pretty worth the trip. The Marvel movies make really good theme park rides. And after riding that like a million times, I'm definitely in the mood to meet another Marvel superhero. King T'Challa, it's an honor to meet you both. It is a pleasure. First question is to watch you, huh? Okay, watch your chance. Make sure you have a little finger up, grab a seat. And the talks. You are dirty for it. <laughs> right? Oh, that's awesome. Hello, and welcome to Lunch Break, starring Vincent. Today, I'm at the Carnation Cafe, a restaurant that Walt Disney himself favored and ate at very regularly when he was here in Disneyland. Is they make potato soup for you? Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 this is good, hold on. <laughs> Look at this potato soup. Oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> what we have here is a baked potato soup. Uh, looks very delicious. Definitely gonna try some of that now. Oh. <laughs> Very hot, cheesy. <clears throat> I mean. Very good. And shortly after my soup has arrived, so has my meatloaf. Oh my god. It is time for me to eat all this food. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Ooh, all right. That was a very good lunch. The meatloaf was pretty good, but that baked potato soup stole the show. All right, time to head back into California Adventure and to continue our adventure. So also, while we're here, can I just say, Disneyland, California Adventure. They're that close, people. I had to ride Guardians one more time before we kept going. <laughs> also, you might have noticed that it's um, nighttime now. Yeah, I went back to my hotel and took a nap. Ooh, sorry. But I was tired, and my hotel is like a walk away, so why not? For real this time, let's continue our California adventure. And if we are visiting California adventure, we have got to visit the place that put California adventure on the map. I am, of course, talking about a Bug's Life land. What's that? My sources are telling me it's not a Bug's Life land that put California Adventure on the map. My sources are telling me it's a little bit closer down this way. Oh yeah, yeah, this is definitely it. 
Cars Land. When you think of highly immersive themed lands, you might think Hogsmeade, you might think Diagon Alley, you might think Pandora, but me, I think Cars Land. I mean, look at this place. Look at freaking canyons! It looks so convincing, so real, and this place is beautiful at night. It's beautiful any time of day, really. I'm honestly surprised it took me so long to get to Cars Land today, but I really have been spending the majority of the day just riding Guardians of the Galaxy, and that Black Panther line was almost two hours long. I apologize for getting to Cars Land so late. Cars Land is home to one of the most popular rides here at California Adventure and probably one of the best rides that Disney's ever made. We are talking about Radiator Springs Racers. And at this time of day, it's at an 80 minute wait. So I'm gonna try my luck with Single Riders. Single Riders has been pretty good to me so far throughout this trip and I'm hoping it won't let me down tonight. I go on that ride I never win but that's okay because it's still a pretty awesome ride I'd have to say Guardians and Radiator Springs are neck-and-neck neck as to which might be the best ride in the park and the cool thing about Cars Land is they have all the characters look it's Mater he's just driving down the street that's crazy truly a real immersive cars experience you don't even have to like cars to enjoy this area it's that good it's one of those types of themed lands when people who don't like Harry Potter go into Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley they go Oh man, this is pretty impressive. This is the same thing here. It's so well done. Now, I will admit, I am visiting California Adventure at a little bit of a transition period. The whole Paradise Pier area is like being turned over into Pixar Pier. And uh, I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> It's a little rough. If this is my first time here, I'd definitely be a little sad. It's all boarded up. World famous Cove Bar? Uh, the world famous, uh, nothing Not right now. World famous standing area. Like, I'm sure once everything opens up, it's gonna be really, really cool. They're gonna have like an Incredibles roller coaster, the Incredicoaster, and that's supposed to be really, really awesome. California streaming was great. I loved the music on that ride. And I really only came to California Adventure to ride Guardians of the Galaxy and hang out in Cars Land, so there's really no skin off my bones, but man, it is a little rough. Damn, man, look at that. It's not even like lit up. They have like this weird spotlight on Mickey's face. I get that they're doing construction on it, but it was, it's so pretty when everything's lit up. I'm kind of a little disappointed that I'm not gonna get to see it all lit up. But that's okay, I mean, I was actually able to get a fast pass for World of Color, surprisingly so close to the end of the night. So I will go check that out, um, cause that is a really, really good show. Um, and I got some of the food here for their food and wine festival. This is $7. Now, it's not a very big portion and <laughs> The food and wine at Epcot is like, this would be $4 at Epcot, but here it's $7. Creamy mac and cheese with garlic bread crumbles, which sounds really good, but $7? Hmm. Hey, they turned it on for the show. Well, there's nobody here, so let's go uh, check it out. What's the worst that could happen? So now we got our spot for World of Color. This is the wet zone. I don't know how wet they're talking you're actually gonna get here, but uh, it's a good view, it's a good spot. Disney presents 
has to have a friend like me section in their nighttime show for some reason. Ah! Woo! That's, uh, that's good. Did everyone see that? Because I would not be doing it again. Wow, 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 hot diggity dog, man. I can't believe I almost slept on World of Color like that. God, I forgot how good of a show that was. And you know what? I walked right up 15 minutes before the show, went to the wet zone, they're like, you will get wet, you will get wet. Not a drop on me, didn't get wet. And a great view, you're like up close, you have to like, the water jets, they like, and you have to like, oh. Like, it's honestly awe-inspiring. Really fantastic show, right up there with like, any of the firework shows at Disney World. I like it a little more than Fantasmic, in my personal opinion. Yeah, Cars Land is pretty great, and you'll never know who you meet here at Cars Land. Oh my god, is that, is that Cruz Ramirez? Oh my god, I think it is. Hello, <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, see you later. See you later, Cruz. Well, I think that about does it for today's episode of Vincent Vision. Thank you guys for watching, everybody. You know, I really didn't do a lot of different things here, but I did do things that you could only do here, which is a win in my book. So it's been a great night here at California Adventure. Thank you guys once again for watching. Tomorrow is my last day here at Disneyland. I'm looking to tie up some loose ends and ride some rides that I really, really like and want to sort of hop on before I leave. Which actually reminds me, there's one more thing I gotta do before I leave for the night. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 hey.